Although rabbits love to eat, they do possess an interesting physical incapability that can potentially serve them in a negative way as it pertains directly to their health. Rabbits are incapable of vomiting. Because rabbits lack a gag reflex and lack enough stomach muscle strength, vomiting becomes impossible. This means that your furry pet is not able to purge its stomach. This opens the door for various toxins and the possibility of an intestinal blockage if food is not passed through a bowel movement. The digestive system of a rabbit is one way. Food enters and food exits. There is no other route. Therefore, the inability to vomit has the potential to cause great harm to your pet. As humans, we certainly know the cues, that feeling that you're going to vomit before you do, sometimes long before you do. We know when we're about to get sick. Rabbits are incapable of thinking this way. This is why your rabbit is depending on you to shield them from harmful foods, too much food, over grooming, toxins, etc. In this video, we will discuss an assortment of negatives that are associated with the inability to vomit and the ways that you can help your rabbit to have a clean digestive system. We hope you enjoy this material and find it both informative and beneficial as an owner. Before we detail a trio of significant health issues that can arise from an inability to vomit, let's first address whether rabbits are capable of regurgitating in any fashion. The answer is rabbits can cough. That's about as close as they get to vomiting. However, coughing can be a sign of sickness or a potential blockage. Unlike humans, rabbits rarely cough without critical reason. If your rabbit's airway does become blocked, then intervention becomes urgent because rabbits lack the ability to forcefully eject something that is trapped. Attempting to breathe through the mouth, constant shaking of the head, walking backwards on hind legs, and bulging of the eyes are all warning signs that your rabbit's airway could be blocked. Transitioning to the health risks that are associated with a rabbit's inability to vomit, the trio is quite troublesome. What makes these risks even more discouraging is that they could largely be alleviated if rabbits had the ability to rid themselves of negative waste through the act of regurgitation. The trio of issues are as follows. Digestive blockages. This can be caused by overeating, undigested food, or overgrooming. All of these factors can lead to an obstruction within the digestive tract. This is why filling your rabbit's hutch with high fiber hay and plenty of fresh water is so critical. Not only is hay nutritious, but it will also help to keep your pet's bowels functioning properly. The next issue of concern is choking. Returning to the aforementioned information concerning coughing, rabbits struggle at best to get anything up. If your rabbit is choking on food or a small object, it's paramount that you act fast as to secure your rabbit's airway. If you're currently viewing this video on site at rabbitcaretips.com, we encourage you to scroll accordingly and find the section that is dedicated to helping a choking rabbit. There you will find several critical steps that can potentially save your rabbit's life if you are ever faced with this unfortunate situation. For those who are currently watching this content via our YouTube platform, please click the initial link in the description box. There you will be taken to our in-depth article. Search accordingly for the How to Help a Choking Rabbit portion of our content. The last subject of great concern involves toxins. If your rabbit consumes something toxic, the final outcome could be tragic. With an inability to vomit, toxicity is not only a problem for rabbits, but also other small animals who also lack the ability to regurgitate. Although touched on briefly in the immediate prior section of this video, it's important to address the issue of toxins in a bit more detail. We'll do this by naming specific toxins to avoid. It's important to note that not all toxins are simply quote unquote served up, if you will. Toxins can be found in unsuspecting places. Even if you've made a point to be proactive, if your rabbit roams your yard on a routine basis, your pet could find itself in contact with toxins. In fact, some toxins can appear due to natural surroundings turning a bit foul. Here are several potential hazards to be mindful of. 
pesticides and herbicides that have been applied to grass and plants, rodent poison, poisonous wild plants, both indoor and outdoor, human medications. As an example, if your rabbit is inside and crawls under your bed, your pet could consume a single loose pill or capsule. Lead-based products, spoiled and or moldy food and hay. Contact with flea treatment. This can occur if your rabbit comes in contact with your cat or dog not long after a flea remedy application. And by all means, never apply a flea treatment to your rabbit and never apply a flea collar. If you suspect that your rabbit has been poisoned, immediate action is needed. Fluctuations in temperature, loss of appetite, lethargy, and seizure are some of the more common symptoms. The ingestion of toxins in this fashion is yet another reason why a rabbit's inability to vomit can be life-threatening. Always watch where your rabbit's mouth is and what your rabbit is doing or attempting to do. Make sure everything your bunny is touching is clean, fresh, and suitable for both physical manipulation and or direct consumption. It is truly the only way to keep your rabbit safe from potentially lethal chemicals. And with that final piece of safety advice, that will conclude things for this video. If you enjoyed this content and would like to view material of a similar nature, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching us directly from rabbitcaretips.com, please scroll accordingly and click the YouTube icon. If you're viewing this from our YouTube platform, please hit subscribe. If you enjoy content concerning rabbit care, important questions, and critical solutions, then we invite you to join us on our journey. Question time. Have you ever had to take your rabbit to the vet with digestive issues? Have you ever had to clear your rabbit's airway or act fast in order to treat negative consumptions? If you can answer yes to any or all of these questions, please share your story in the comments section below. It's always important to engage the community and allow rabbit owners to chat with other owners, even concerning negative experiences. Please share if you have dealt firsthand with any of the issues discussed in this video. What you have to offer could potentially help other owners in the future. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful day.